Hi Titech. In this video, I'm going to go do a teardown of this toy robot. I want to see what's inside, and I want to salvage for the components that's inside of this robot. The way the arms and legs move, I think there are servo motors, and I want to salvage for some servo motors. So, let's get started. And here we have it. The robot is completely torn down into two separate piles. And here's the pile of useless parts and the pile of useful parts. Interesting, something of this size was completely torn down to that size. It's very interesting. And here are all the parts that I have salvaged from the robot. It's interesting that I have these servo motors that work differently than traditional servo motors. Re traditional servo motors usually turn to certain directions, but these servo motors are very interesting. They seem to turn all in 360 and continue turning without breaking. If you did that to a traditional servo motor, it would break. So I have right here my motherboard from this robot. And as you can see, that's the microcontroller or the IC chip that controls the entire robot. And here are all the components, a transistor, capacitors, and all these little tiny components, which I can't remove with a soldering iron without damaging them. I need a hot air gun to be able to remove those. So these components are very interesting to salvage. And here is the IC chip that controls the entire robot. I have no use for that. I might just salvage it for the gold. It kind of looks like there's gold. I'm not sure. And here are all the components that I might salvage. This microphone is very useful. And all these other components I might take out, but I think I'll leave them on the board. And when I want them, I'll just take them out when I need them. Keeping them on the board will prevent them from getting lost. So it's good to just keep them as is. And here are some springs that I find very useful, and these rings too. And here are some screws. Screws are always very useful to have. And here's this pile of wires attached to some PCBs. These PCBs are completely useless. They're just primitive uh, push switches. So I'll just discard those and keep the wires. The wires are always very useful to use and keep. And here's these little pieces that attach to the servo motors. These can be very useful. I might be able to reuse them and make them into a robot. Or I make a future video called Turn a Robot into a Robot. And these wires I can attach to an Arduino and make a robot out of that. And here are some LEDs. And here is this piece that came from the robot's head. I find it very interesting because these LEDs could be very useful. And there's a photoresistor inside that hole right there. And here is an infrared LED. Now all that attached to an Arduino could make an interesting robot. So yeah, I might keep this as is and attach the wires and put them into an Arduino and use it in the future. I might use it in a future project. So yeah. This is very interesting. This little infrared LED, 
I can control the robot by using a remote control. Very interesting. And here's a speaker. Speakers are always useful. And here's a push on and off switch. These are also very useful to have. And I have right here this servo motor that has 33 ohm resistors and a ceramic capacitor. And I could just pull out the DC motor and just use the DC motor. But I think I'll keep this as is and keep this servo to be able to create a robot out of. Just simply cut these wires and attach it to the Arduino and then I'll have a simple robot. So yeah, stay tuned. I might make a future video out of this to make a robot made from a robot. So yeah, these servo motors are very useful and really cool. Definitely want to keep those. So there you have it, a teardown of a robot toy. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.